pretty well packed as well. So you can see a lot of styrofoam as well and then a nice cardboard box tubing as well. So it's it's really well made. Connectors. Well, there's a face. Yeah, so that was the speaker relay click. So it's nicely fully tied. You have speaker level in, you have line you are sitting in your couch, maybe six, seven feet away. This is not at all odd. Hello and welcome back to our vlog. So today what we're going to unbox is the Dude Sound 200 Watt Mono Subwoofer Amplifier. So as you know we've been building our own subwoofer and then now is the time to power it. So this will replace my existing amplifier. So this is again a class AB 200 Watt amplifier which I built myself. Yeah. And uh, while this is a good amplifier, it's one of my earliest construction. So it's now the time to look for something more better, more professional and see how it sounds as compared to my original MOSFET amplifier. Yeah. So let's let's unbox it. So the packing is really good. The Dude Sound website, I'll also share the link below. Uh, the shipping was just, just two days. So it has come all the way from Delhi in just two days. Now let's see how good the interior is. So it came via DTC courier and pretty fast shipping, just two days. Very well packed as well. So you can see a lot of styrofoam as well and then a nice cardboard box. packing inside as well you see again it is reinforced with a lot of styrofoam and very nice to see it's not thermocolored good styrofoam possibly the class AB MOSFET amplifier let me show you the accessories so here are the banana plates yeah pretty nice so I ordered around uh, four packets of them which has eight connectors each let's see how good this is Hmm. Okay, I'll not say this is really good. This is just just an average connector. But then, yeah, for the price, I think it's it's quite good. So you know, one one packet of this costs only around uh, seventy rupees for about eight connectors. Yeah, so pretty decent. Yeah, and these are the Allen headed screws. So these are screws for speakers. Yeah, but with a instead of a screw head, it has a Allen bolt. All right. Now time for the big unboxing, the unveiling. I also can't wait to see how it looks like because I'm expecting very good quality because I want it to you know, look and feel premium. Wow! Look at this amazing toroidal transformer. What a beauty. Yeah. Let me bring this closer so that you can take a look. Oops! It's really good. Yeah. Alright. You can see how this looks quite horrible so this is a regular transformer yeah and then the board quality if you see the soldering i must say very well made professionally made so you can see a speaker relay as well so it probably has a soft start as well it probably has a soft start yeah okay now to see how the plate looks like oh so the heat sink is on this side oh yeah so this is how this looks like so you can see the heat sinks and the connectors well there's a face oh there's a variable face wonderful and there's a there's a volume no sorry it's not a variable phase i'm sorry so this is a phase 0 180 and this is a crossover here yeah? so zero to possibly 50 hertz to 150 hertz all right and then you have a volume and you have good connectors here a mains plug on off and then the ac switch here the toroidal transformer bolt is here yeah overall very very well built yeah i think you will you will agree as well. I think putting it onto my subwoofer cabinet, it will feel like you know professionally purchased. Yeah, it can give 
professionally bought cabinets or professionally bought amplifiers are run for its money as well. Yes. It's, it's lovely. You can look at the soldering, you can look at the, the, the packing, you know, the, the wires, how it has been shielded and then connected here yeah, with heat shrink tubing as well. So it's, it's really well made. So you can see the section, driver section here. Yeah, so this is the amplifier name, HX Sub 300. Not sure why it is called 300 when it's a 200 watt amplifier, but anyway, possibly it's the same bolt. Yeah, so here is the wonderful Toradel transformer. I think this is a beautiful transformer, very nicely wrapped. The switches are heat shrinked. Yeah, you can see all the connectors are done very well here. Here is a driver section with the MJ340 transistor and then the Toshiba TTC5200 and TTA1943 NPNPNP push-pull class AB amplifier. Yeah. This is the speaker relay. Uh, I can't figure out what is the make. Anyway. A for cabinet that we built already and now it's the time for the first power test of this amplifier. So let me put it in carefully. Here are the speaker wires connecting the speaker wires here. So before I box it into the subwoofer, I'll have to cut a slot for the subwoofer. So before doing that, it's always good to test yeah, whether this, this works fine. Alright, so powering it up. Here we go. No black smoke, no magic smoke, so it works. So I could hear the speaker relay, so the speaker relay has cut in. Let's do that one more time. Please bring the phone closer. Look for the relay. Yeah, so that was the speaker relay click. Excellent. Now let's look at the hum. Oh, this is really good. Very, very, very faint hum. Yeah, so way better than my old amplifier. I think the shielding is done really well. I can hardly hear it. All right, let's see if increasing the volume has any impact here. This is max volume. No. So the, the hum is the same as before. It's very, very faint. So good job here. Good job. That was my Jugad. Uh, Pro audio transmitters because I normally place the sub far away. So let's see how it sounds with this. It's time to power it up. Let's see what kind of hum this gives, maybe. So, volume low, possibly mono is the only good. Oh. No hum still. Surprising. Okay, now I'm having a doubt whether it works. So let's switch this off. Let's reduce the volume to zero and then pull out the positive and see whether it, it should it should make a loud noise. Yeah. That's what I'm used to. Okay. It's hardly moving. Ah. Okay, but it's too faint. Hmm. My previous amplifier used to go bonkers with this kind of. So either the line level, the preamp section is quite low. That seems strange. Putting it in the right channel. Same here as well. Very, very faint hum. Okay, so now we are going to do a final test. So I did some settings in the meantime before the video was switched on. So it seems that the gain is low. So you need a lot of driving power. So the uh, subwoofer uh, out in the amplifier is set to 0 dB. Now we are going to do a frequency test and see how it performs. So now let's let's start sweeping from 5 hertz. So 5 hertz you can see that there is zero response here. And like the class B amplifiers which could also perform at 5 hertz. But yeah, 10 hertz. Onwards you can see good movement and if I increase the game over also throwing out tremendous amounts of air, good excursion. Yeah. 
Upside down so that we will not put all the dust into the speaker for me. So I'll cut it like this and then we can vacuum out the from the, the vacuum cleaner after the cut. Now the tough part is measuring this. So yeah, to bring a scale and then probably measure it. We want it somewhere in the middle. Alright. So it's designed well, but I see the clearance here is very very minimal, not even a centimeter. So we'll have to plan it out carefully. marking has now been done successfully and it's time to cut out so for this i have my trusty old jigsaw okay yeah, old jigsaw um uh, always wear gloves yeah so that small nicks cuts especially with ply or the blades it can save you so good gloves here working gloves and the best part about this jigsaw is also allows you to connect your vacuum cleaner so there will not be much dust around and it won't fall into the speaker as well so that's something really good So let's use the loop saw and uh, uh, screws for this. Yeah. So as these are Allen screws, we will need a head to mount them. And I think this is a perfect fit. Yep. All right. I think it look good. All right. Now and for the mount, but I think for this, we will have to change some bits here. Alright, so this is the final screw and pose that it's time to fire. So it's nicely fully tied along with the carpet so there is no space for any vents, for any air noises or any hisses. Alright, now time to power it up. as non stop and now is the time to talk about the pros and cons so coming to the pros it's really silent really effortless in driving this i think 400 watts rms is wonderful for this 12 inch infinity cone it's giving you a shaking room feeling base this is ultimate um it has got loads of connectivity options you have speaker level in you have line level in so then now connectivity is not a problem at all effortless base wonderful zero heating 
it's performing really well. The heat sink is also constructed very well. Now coming to the cons, you know, very very minor cons. So there is a zero to one eighty degree phase shift switch, but the switch is slightly it's got a you know wider diameter than normal. So there's a lot of air chuffing noise coming when the bass is driven at very high volumes. Yeah. So this is only audible when you're very close to the subwoofer. If you're sitting in your couch, maybe six seven feet away, this is not at all audible. But yeah, still a minor con that I have to mention. Also now coming to the connectivity options. uh coming to the outputs you have a speaker level output but you don't have a line level output so suppose you want to tap into more than one subwoofer you want to have left right subwoofers or maybe four subwoofers then the only option is to to tap it from the amplifier if your amplifier supports more than one subwoofer output so that's the only minor con or else maybe you will have to use a splitter apart from that it's a wonderful product by dude sound uh, you can see my subwoofer assembled here this is my uh, the cabinet and the infinity cone i used with the with the dude sound played amplifier wonderful performance and good job dude sound